Welcome back. 812 right now. We've heard about the federal government debt ceiling. Heard way too much about that, to be honest, and other financial issues. But what does it really mean to your own family and your wallet? Here with everything you need to know is author of the new book, Financial Fresh Start, your five-step planning and adapting and prospering in the new economy. Sherry Olofsson, thank you so Good much. Morning. Our common sense attorney, our financial expert. I have a question for you. I have some buzzwords out there right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Sequestration. That's been a term thrown out there lately, especially with these uh, the national look at our economy. What does that mean and how does it affect us? Well, a little while back, we almost defaulted on our obligations. And as a result, the uh, Budget Act passed. And in the Budget Act, they agreed to raise the debt ceiling, which effectively is how much the U.S. can borrow. Mm -hmm. Also agreed to some immediate cost cutting and set up a super committee that was supposed to come up with some ideas for future cost cutting. Here's the hitch, though. If that mm -hmm. super committee didn't come up with ideas, there was an incentive in place called sequestration, which meant that if you guys don't come up with ideas, we're going to have these automatic across the board cuts. The goal was that that would incentivize them to come up with cuts. Of mm -hmm. course, it didn't work. So now we've got these sequestration cuts that are scheduled to start. Interesting. You know, we can kind of wrap our head around defense cuts. Yeah. yeah. What are other cuts we're talking about that could have an immediate impact on our wallets? Right. Well, the other cuts are across the board in pretty much every program. So we're looking at education. We're looking at small businesses, small business loans, uh, job programs. We're looking at the government services that we count on, Michael, at, at the Social Security Administration, mm -hmm. IRS, all those people that, that keep our requests flowing and yeah. not creating backlogs. We're looking at research, scientists. We're looking at health programs, so mm -hmm. screenings and all kinds of things in the area of health, security, everything sure. from police to border control, and other programs like Meals on Wheels and nutrition for young mothers and kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, we're talking about these cuts. I mean, obviously, we're talking about jobs and those jobs help the system move along. Impact quick, jobs too. Uh, well, bottom line, the real takeaway for folks is it's going to impact everything and everybody. The extent okay. to which you and I personally will be impacted really depend on how much we count on government programs. So obviously folks at the lower end of the earnings spectrum mm -hmm. will be impacted more. That sequestration word again. Uh, when will it happen if it does? We're looking at the next couple of weeks. Okay. Now some of the programs, some of the proposed cuts will <laughs> be morphed a little bit. So we're not going to see exactly what's on the table now. But the bottom line is that there will be cuts. We've already seen, look, folks are taking home 2% less because the paycheck uh, yeah. holiday expired. We're already seeing the post office cutting back on services on Saturday. So the thing folks really need to think about is what government programs do I rely on? And if those programs happen to get cut, what is my plan B? Mm -hmm. You never really realize how much you appreciate, especially the post office, until you actually need it. it exactly. And some mm -hmm. of them are less direct. So services, for example, by some estimates, we're going to be waiting at airport check checkpoints for as mm -hmm. many as three hours if those security folks are cut back. So you just never know. Well, Sherry, we appreciate your help. As always, our financial expert and uh, author, Sherry Olafson. Back to the news desk now, Keely.